Hi, today I'm going to talk about bandwidth. Bandwidth is somehow confusing to some people because it represents different meanings when we're talking about electronics or when we're talking about computing. Uh, it gets even more confusing in uh, computing because it is confused also with the term speed or throughput of a system or a channel. Today I will try to clarify all these terms and provide a clear understanding of bandwidth in electronics and in computing. In electronics, bandwidth is a range of frequency occupied by a radio frequency signal uh, usually measured in hertz or cycle per second. While in computing, bandwidth is the maximum rate of data transfer across a given path in bits per second. Now let's take some examples to clarify this and let's start with the electronics part. Let's take an AM channel and the AM radio band is between 550 kilohertz and uh, 1720 kilohertz. And each bandwidth for each channel is 10 kilohertz. So each channel will have 10 kilohertz of a frequency dedicated for it to transmit. And this is what is mean by bandwidth. It's the width of the bandwidth of the band where an AM channel is allowed to transmit. Now let's look at another example of the bandwidth in an electronic system in the Wi-Fi system mainly. And here you see that the bandwidth of one channel is 22 megahertz. Now let's go back to computing, which is our main concern. And in computing, as we said, bandwidth is the maximum rate of data transfer across a given path and it's measured in bits per second. Okay, it could be megabits per second, could be gigabits per second, so it depends, but the kilo and giga, as we know, they are only multiples of 10. Take an example of a CAT6A cable. Uh, the bandwidth of a CAT6A cable is 10 gigabits per second. However, when you install this cable in your system, your throughput or your speed will be less. So 10 gigabits per second is the maximum bandwidth or the maximum speed or throughput that this cable can achieve. Another example, and more uh, close to our everyday application is our internet connections at uh, home or at a company or anywhere. Now, usually when you have an internet connection, it is uh, limited by the service provider on the on your based on your subscription. So if you buy a 50 megabits per second subscription, like what I have now, usually this is your bandwidth. And then what you will get during every day is sometimes much less than that, sometimes close there to the 50 megabits per second. Um, I'll take an example here. I have my internet speed test. And you can see that if I do a test for my uh, internet speed, it's only 46 or 47. That's very good, very close to the 50. It, and this is the real speed of the network or the internet that I'm getting in comparison to the 50 Mbps that is my bandwidth. Now, why we don't achieve this 50 uh, Mbps or megabits per second? For many reasons, mainly the latency is one main reason for this difference between the internet speed throughput and the bandwidth. Uh, and latency can be affected by many things like the number of nodes that your signal is passing through before it goes to the source, the bit error rate, so how many of these packets having errors and need to be transmitted again, so this also affects your throughput, the network congestion, the distance between the source and your system, all these are factors that affect your system. To clarify it more, take an example of a highway. And if you see in this highway, we have like a two ways download and one way upload. This highway can allow the passage of two cars per second going south and one car per second going north. Okay, Assuming south is download and north is upload. Now, if we add delays to this highway, so if cars are having to delay at different checkpoints 0.2 seconds at each checkpoint and you have two checkpoints then 
this highway will not be delivering uh, two cars per second. It will be delivering two cars in 1.4 second in this case, say. Yeah, so this is mainly the difference between bandwidth, speed, and throughput. Thank you. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.